Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Botello and today we're going to be learning how to analyze literary text and we'll be using one of Langston Hughes' readings titled Thank You Ma'am. So to begin, we're going to go over the objectives for today. Um, Y'all are going to begin by practicing how to annotate a text for deeper understanding. Um, second, you'll be using context clues to help you find the meaning of a word or words that you guys aren't familiar with. Uh, you'll be making an inference based on clues within the text. And then finally, you'll define and identify personality traits of characters within the story that they're reading. And here I've included an infographic for you that gives you a definition of what annotating is exactly and why it's important for our understanding of text. So to begin, I have designed a reading chant for us. So it's based off of the five W's and you can use your five fingers as a guide when, you are, when you're approaching a text. So if you put your hands up, it's gonna go who, what, when, where, and why. So to begin with the chorus, I'm going to recite, and then you guys repeat. Who, what, when, where, why? Who, what, when, where, why? And I'll say with purpose, let's give it a try. And I'll say with purpose, let's give it a try. Who, what, when, where, why? Who, what, when, where, why? Characters, plots, settings, and time. Characters, plots, settings, and time. Excellent. OK, so then moving on to the actual verse. It is kind of just a continuation of the five W's, going into a little bit more of an explanation. Who are the players? What do they do? Who are, Who are the players? What do they do? Where does it happen? Where are the clues? Where does it happen? Where are the clues? Why do they act? What are their views? Why do they act? What are their views? What does it happen? What time do they choose? When does it happen? What time do they choose? Excellent. Okay, so now we'll be going through it together. And I will take it slow so you guys you guys can follow along. Who, what, when, where, why? And it's it with purpose, let's give it a try. Who, what, when, where, why? Characters, plots, settings, and time. Who are the players? What do they do? Where does it happen? What are the clues? Why do they act? What are their views? When does it happen? What time do they choose? Perfect. So this is kind of the chant that I want you guys to utilize when we're analyzing the text. Okay, so to go into the text, uh, Thank You Ma'am by Links and Hughes, we're going to start off with the first W, which is who. So, do I have any volunteers to read the following excerpt? Allie, thank you. She was a large woman with a large purse that had everything in it but hammer and nails. It had a long strap and she carried it slung across her shoulder. It was about 11 o'clock at night and she was walking alone when a boy ran up behind her and tried to snatch her purse. The strap broke with the single tug the boy gave it from behind. But the boy's weight and the weight of the purse combined caused him to lose his balance. So, Instead of taking a full blast to save hope, the boy fell on his back on the sidewalk and his legs blew up. The large woman simply turned around and kicked him right square in his blue jean sitter. Then she reached down, picked the boy up by his shirt front, and shook him until his teeth rattled. After that, the woman said, Pick up my pocketbook, boy, and get it here. She still held him, but she bent down enough to permit him to stoop and pick up her purse. Then she said, Now ain't you ashamed of yourself? Firmly gripped by his shirt front, the boy said, Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm <laughs> Okay, so starting off with the first W, who, can anyone tell me why I've highlighted certain parts of the text in green? Yes, Janelli? I think it's because it's telling us like who the people in the story are. So like keywords like boy and woman. Exactly. So this is actually the first paragraph of a longer reading. It's about three pages. But the first paragraph alone tells you a lot about what you need to be paying attention to and what's going on in, for the rest of the story. So exactly like Shanelle said, she was a large woman, states that there's a woman who the story will be about, and a boy. And as of right now, that's all the information we have about who the characters are within this particular paragraph. Excellent. Okay, so moving on to the second W, what? Um, can anyone tell me what they thought was going on in the story? I've highlighted some parts in blue to kind of help guide you guys in, in curating your response. Jonathan? The boy tried to steal her purse, but he failed. And the woman caught him in the process. Exactly. Yes, so that's exactly what happened. He tried to rip the purse off of her shoulder and he wasn't able to, so the woman was asking him to pick up her pocketbook and give it to him. So exactly, that would be the what that's going on in the story, kind of to orient us as we continue reading. And then the when. Um, I've highlighted this part, and it, this one's pretty self-explanatory. It, it occurs at 11 o'clock at night, that's stated 
would be the second sentence of the paragraph. Um, and that's all the information that we have as of right now. So then moving on to our last two W's, where and why. Can anyone tell me or does anyone have a guess as to why there's no purple or red um, correlating to the where and the why? Chanelli? Is it because it's still kind of early in the story, like maybe it hasn't finished like developing, that it's not there, like we don't know where the per like the street or his reason. So maybe. Exactly. Does anyone else agree or disagree? The boy fell on his back to the sidewalk and his legs flew up. The water woman simply turned around and kicked him right square in his blue jean sitter. Perfect. Thank you, Jonathan. So we know that the boy has fallen, and I found an image that perfectly kind of gives us an illustration of how it is that the boy fell. So based off of this, I um, bolded the word sitter because that's a word that I wasn't quite familiar as the first time I read this text. Can anyone give me a guess as to what they think a sitter in this sentence could be? And why? Yes, Janelle? Well, if we take the fact that he fell, and if the image is accurate, he fell on his back, his feet are up, and if she went to kick, the only accessible area, excuse me, Miss Bacala, would be his, his butt. So <laughs> could the sitter potentially be his, a butt or like a barrier? Correct, it would be his bottom in this situation, which is a little humorous. But yes, correct, she came up and kicked him in his bottom as a result of him trying to steal her purse. So perfect, this is how you identify the meaning of a word using context clues. And so finally, for our debrief and final thoughts, I have two questions. The first is, what can we infer about the woman and the boy based on what, um, what we've read? Yes, Sally? Uh, the woman, she seems very um, confident she's not going to put up with what the boy did to her. She's going to stand Exactly. And the boy? Yes, Janelle? I think considering that he tried to steal her first, one could say like, he's a bit mischievous in the sense that like something's going on to cause him to take the purse. So maybe there's more to that in the story. Well, later on, like something's going on in his life to cause him to take the purse. I mean, maybe there's no rhyme or reason, but one would hope there's a reason. <laughs> Correct. So we can't quite construct the whole story based on what we've read, but we can infer that, yes, in fact, this is a strong woman, a tough woman, and that the boy, under some circumstances, was led to try and steal this woman's purse. And so this kind of connects to the second question, what character traits would be used to describe these characters? Ali's already told us that the woman is strong and tough. Um, what character traits could we use to describe the boy? Chanelli, I think you mentioned some? Yeah, I mentioned, like, mischievous, um, Maybe one could also, I don't know if it's a character trait, but clumsy, because he fell. Exactly. Um, I, think, I think those are very perfect character traits. So that is all for our lesson today. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.